What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about one of the least talked about rating on 2k but it can do wonders and not much players know about it. It can do a lot of stuff on your build that you wouldn't expect that there's a rating that takes care of it. So in this one, we'll talk about your hand rating. We'll talk about how the game calculated, it, what's the use of this stat and how much boost you can get from it. So now let's get right into it. So basically, your hand rating is tied up to your ball handle rating. In here, I got some demo players. You got 38 ball handle and 38 hand rating as well. Now, to make sure that it's really tied up to your ball handles, that it's not just a coincidence, I tried to add one on ball handle and make it 39. And here you can see hands became 39 as well. And to make sure that it applies on big man builds as well, I tried with a 610 build and same thing. I got 31 for both. Then the moment I made it 32, the hand rating reached 32 as well. There might be some other unique formula for other unique situations, but I guess for the most part, it'll be just your ball handle rating. So after playing around with it, here are the functions that I found out. First one, on catch and shoot sequence, it makes the transition from catch to the actual shot much faster. In here, even before I catch the pass, I was already pressing shoot button. So the moment Steph got the ball, he'll straight away proceed to the shot. And you can notice here that the one with 99 got to the shot much faster. Keep in mind though, it doesn't actually make the shot faster, it will only speed up the transition to the shot. In here you can see, if I sync both clips at the start of the shot, they'll finish at the same time. Which proves that their shot speeds are just the same. And to give you a better picture, here you go. So that red area there is the one that is being touched by your hand rating. So now for the next function, it is pretty much the same thing. It makes the transition much faster as well, but this time it's for dribbling. In here I was already holding left stick to the right, so the moment Steph caught the ball, He'll explode straight away and you can notice here that the one with higher hand rating is much faster. So basically what this rating does is it gives you better transition from one move to the next move when you catch the ball. I know you might be thinking now that now it makes sense why smaller builds tend to, you know, do catch and shoot much faster and move much quicker when you receive a pass. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed badge and stat testings. First week, I'm going to do stuff like, you know, speed, speed with ball, strength, acceleration, vert, and all the stuff you need to know on the first week before you finalize your build. And I'm doing this thing full time, so expect a lot of videos coming your way. Trust me, subscribing to this channel will be one of your best investment this year. So now going back for the next function, which I think is a big function, it gives you better catch animations. In here, I tried with 25 hands, and for the most part, it's going to be these catch animations. Sometimes it's clean though, but usually it's all over the place. Then the moment I put 99, I got more clean catches. Of course, every now and then, you'll get that lousy catches, but usually, it'll be better. So then I might ask, shoots, does it help on defense? Maybe it'll increase your steal chances. I haven't tested that part, but I'm pretty positive that it doesn't affect it. If you look in here, you can notice that hand rating is on the offensive side of things. Usually, if it's both on defense and offense, 2k will put it here, on the athleticism part. So basically, your hand rating is like your glue hands badge. All the things that hands does, that's covered by glue hands badge way way back on 2k22. So before leaving, please let me know in the comment section what I think about it. Like what's your main takeaway in this video. So that's all for the video, would be really awesome if you guys can give a channel a look. Maybe you might be interested in a couple of videos, or you can just click one of these videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.